Good morning, brothers and sisters. Ado in the cone, digin kat pa nada huit ni tolil ko do in the sa do cone nada the deeds in the pinig yeh la ko je cone nihis na hon klone ke ado um di de cone summer quarters again we've been learning about God is faithful. Oh, how you but ado oh about the um, when you read about these different kings and their kingdom. Ahot ego hait ego di in God, which in the hasado hait ego do at the hush inigil do et ad and jonago naha be bakatni nil ako di in God be ba hensen. God is faithful to us no matter what. So the con as joshing shata nada yil zito, we walk away or we're not following God closely like we should, but he never leaves us, nor does he forsake us. Thank you, brother and sister, for your prayers, and we're always keeping you in prayer. We'll honor his name again. Thank you, Jesus. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing part? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusted in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? The bridegroom cometh, will your robes be white? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion bright? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul can sing blood? white as snow. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin, and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Jesus starts in a nekanko bay, think that it is red to none in this case. Yet your body is cunning in the dark, O Lord, that we take that in this Jesus Christ, save it in. Yet your body is yet a gift. Yet it is a yasna hand and gold, that we take that in this case. 
This morning, our lesson is about King Uzziah. He was a puzzle king. The word puzzle means confusion or confusion of the mind. So that's going to be our lesson this morning. So let's open the uh, Sunday school with prayer. My Lord, my God, the glory, the honor we give to you this morning, Lord Jesus. Bless us with your wisdom, your knowledge, Lord God, Jesus. Bless us with your thoughts and your ways, Jesus. For your word says, have the mind of Christ, the Lord Jesus. And bless us this morning, Lord God, each one of us with your word as you speak to our, our hearts, our spirits, Lord Jesus. In your name we ask. Amen. Let's read Second Chronicle, chapter 26, verses 3 to 5. Here the scripture says, 16 years old was Uzziah when he began to reign. And he reigned 50 and 2 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Jacola of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right and the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah did. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. Here is the story of King Uzziah. 
He became a king while he was still 16 years old. And he turned the people back to God. But as you will see, that instead of fully re returning the people to God, he left some to still worship on the mountaintop to burn innocence to other gods. That's what Uzziah did. And as the scripture said, as long as he was looking for God, God blessed him. So he started off in a good way with God and with the people. But along the way, he began to think that everything that was going on was all his doing. He was not faithful as he should be. He became prideful. Just as the scripture says, save that the high places were not removed, the people sacrificed and burned incense still on the high places. That means he was not fully faithful to God. He was letting the people worship, praise idols on the mountaintop. And the Bible here says, and the king, God smote the king because he had a prideful spirit. He was not faithful. So that he was a leper until the day of his death, and dwell in several house. And Jotham, the king's son, was over the house, judging the people of the land. Amen. And as you keep reading the scriptures, you will see he began to replace the high priests. He began to step into the sanctuary, into the tabernacle, to make sacrifices or to make innocence, trying to light an innocence. So he was taken over because he became prideful and he thought he was doing everything by himself. So he sounded like the rich man in the Bible, the rich man who thought everything that he has, he made it himself. He became prideful, that rich man. So that night God told him, thy fool, Tonight, your life will be required of you. So that night, God took his life. The same way here, Uzziah began to be prideful. Uzziah began to start taking over the religious system also. As you, as we read here, it says, as long as he sought God, when he looked to God, he had divine favor and a blessing from God. So here, Uzziah was saying, I did everything myself. In the beginning, he had a humble beginning. He began with God. He prayed. He worshiped God. But along the way, as he began to prosper, he began, his mind went into a confusion. 
He, can, he confused. So he thought he was doing everything himself without any help from God. So here, when we start being faithful with God, we have to be faithful the rest of our life. Be faithful to God. So, today, were we faithful to God? Sometimes, yes, we start off with God. We start going to church. But along the way, we begin to say, I did it all by myself. And as you look around the news, the newspaper, television, if you look and listen, today society are saying being good is not worth it. You have to put yourself above one another. Amen. Hallelujah. So being good is not worth it. That's the motto of today's society. But for a child of God, we need to stay faithful to Jesus, the mighty God. Amen. I would like to read the scriptures here. Where did this come from? Where did this faithfulness, this pride come from? As we read the scripture, here it says, uh, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of terror. Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum of wisdom, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Here is a creature, a being, that has wisdom, and that has beauty. Thou hast seen, thou hast been in garden, of God, Eden. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardis, topaz, and the diamond, and the beryl, and the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tabards, and of thy Pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Okay, here the scripture is tell, talking about Lucifer. God creating Lucifer and the rest of the angel he created. But here Lucifer had wisdom, and had beauty. And as the scripture says, he was made out of precious stones. He was in beauty. 
as we read the scripture of gold, and he was even made out of musical instrument. The tabrets and the vials, the pipes. It was in him. So every time Lucifer moves, there was music. And the angel began to praise God when the music starts. But thou art the anointed cherub that covered, and I have set thee so thou hast a Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity, iniquity was found in thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub from the midst of the stones of fire. Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou has corrupted by thy wisdom, by the reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before king that they may behold thee. Amen. Lucifer, the devil, created by God to be a worship leader in heaven. So he was created with a musical instrument. He was created with precious stones to lead the angel in worshiping and praising God. But as we read the scripture, sin and iniquity develop in him because he became prideful. Just as Uzziah died, just as anybody that proclaimed that he's a Christian, they started off good. But along the way, pride comes. Unfaithfulness comes. Just as it happened to Lucifer here. And then he says, and they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. And the noise of the vial, the music, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. See where pride took Lucifer. Just as it happened with King Uzziah, when he began to be prideful, 
when he began to be faithless. He was covered with leprosy. He became a leper and spent the rest of his life being a leper. Amen. Here the scripture we read says house of separation. House of separation is the underworld. The underworld where the dead are. Amen. So what that is happening, and that happened to Lucifer. For thou, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nation? <laughs> Lucifer, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sights of the north. She noho I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. Say the God at Eheki in Stedolich. Denni. So there's five. I. I. As Uzziah said, I did it myself. As the rich man said, I made it. I'm going to tear down the barn. I'm going to build another one that's bigger. I will speak to my soul. The rich man, pride, speaking. He forsook God. Amen. So here Lucifer is doing the same thing. He said, I will ascend, I will exalt, I will sit, I will ascend, I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. 
they that look upon thee shall nearly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that make the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdom? See how God can bring you down, can bring us down when we become prideful. Yes, we did good. We repented of our sins. We were baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of our sins. We were filled with the Holy Ghost, God himself in us. But along the way, pride begins to creep into our life. Unfaithfulness begins to creep into our life. No longer trusting God. Even though we keep bringing our past out saying, oh, I was baptized. But here we are, living, we are leaving God while he tells us, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Amen. Forsake. It means I will never emotionally forget you. Amen. I will be always thinking of you. I'll never forsake you. But here, Uzziah, Lucifer, forsook God. They just remember him of something that's in the past. That's the only way they remember God. No longer praying. No longer reading the word of God. No longer going to the sanctuary. Our mind became confused, puzzled. In other words, we are confused in our mind. That's why we think I am greater than God. That's why we utter the words, I did it. All by myself. We forget God, his blessing, the divine favor. We forget it. And we say, I did it myself. This is what happened to King Uzziah. He even tried to be a high priest. Amen. Just as it happened with King Saul also. Hallelujah. Just think about it. Ashe, 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 kusta, ashe, hashte, niniya, ashe, itne. We forget God. God, eh? Basi, no. Nothing need, huh? For, we forsook God. And we try to live our, our own way. Amen? 
we begin to say what Lucifer said here. I will. I will live a good life. I will be my own boss. I will be a leader. I will climb myself up where I am known throughout. Amen. And I will be like the Most High. Because as King Uzziah here, he did. He was a king for 52 years. But he forsook God. And he became a leper. A leper. This flesh-eating disease. It covers you. Just as here Lucifer was told, the worms is going to be under you. The worms are going to be all over you when you, you are cast to the ground. Amen. Hallelujah. And he, Uzziah spent the rest of his life in the underworld where the dead are. Amen. Hallelujah. Think about Bonson Kiss. Nishai. The Yen Kadish. Not a D. Ash. Not an Adat. Ashish. Ash didn't need As a minister, for myself, I believe we, I have no business saying my church, my ministry, the Lord gave it to me. It's just a blessing from God. Amen. So everything we try to do in pride for God will not work. Amen. Because some ministers are prideful. God, eh, ashe, ashla, ashe, ashe, church, she ministry, dan, she evangelist, nishle, dan, amen, the in God, at, in, e, at, then, pride, Made many churches, many religious systems out of the one true church of Jesus Christ. Now we have so many religious denominations. Amen. We have so many. They are getting to the point where they don't acknowledge that salvation is from the Jews. That's what Jesus himself said. He said salvation is of the Jews. Amen. But nowadays, there are so many religious denominations. 
trying to do their own way of salvation. Some of them, yes, they call themselves apostles. But they don't believe in the plan of salvation of God. They don't teach and preach, repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Some don't even believe in the Holy Ghost. King Uzziah. His mind became confused. Today, many are in that way. Their mind are confused. They say they're apostles. But you know what? Jesus said, Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he abode not in the truth, because there is no truth. In him, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Amen. If you, if we, Proclaim we're apostle, apostolic. But if we don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, his plan of salvation, we are a liar. We are of the devil. We are like Lucifer, putting ourselves Ahead of everybody. I will. It's what we do. Amen. I pray for you. You're going to be healed. They never acknowledge Jesus, the mighty God, as the healer. Amen. Jesus, he is the healer. The doctors don't heal. They just diagnose. But Jesus is the one that heals. Amen. Don't get confused. Don't let your mind get confused. For without realizing, you're going to forsake God. Just as your father, the devil did. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you proclaim you're apostle or apostolic, but you don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, According to the scriptures, you're a liar. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Amen. 
Jesus is saying, I'm teaching, I'm speaking in the truth to you, but you don't believe me. You rather believe your father, the devil, which is a lie. Amen. Hallelujah. The truth is not in him. Amen. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the truth. The true way of salvation. The true way of being born again of the water and of the spirit. That's the truth. The infilling of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, is the truth. That's the truth. Speaking in another language is the truth. Amen? Don't let your mind be confused. Don't end up like Uzziah. A disease come on you and you question. But I'm a Christian. Why do I have this disease? Look back. Where did you leave God? Where did you let go of God? And begin to say everything I did it myself. I found a job myself. I have a car, I got it myself. I have a home, I got it myself. Never acknowledging God. You forsook God emotionally. You gave up on him. You don't remember him no more. You don't remember his blessing. You don't remember his divine favor anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't end up like King Uzziah or the rich man, or Lucifer, the devil, Satan. Don't ever say, I did it myself. Because it's God. He's the one that blesses us. He's the one that saves us washes our sins away with his blood. Amen. Hallelujah. We experience salvation because of God. His name is Jesus. Yeshua. Salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. So give everything that you have, you. Get on your knees and repent. Ask God to forgive you for forsaking him. Ask God to forgive you for trying to be like him. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. We know him as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the one that said, I know of no other God before me, besides me. 
I don't know of any other God. I am the only God. That's what Jesus says. Amen. We are in the stage. Some of us still get confused about the oneness of God. We're puzzled. How can there be one God? Because we look and try to understand with our carnal wisdom, with our carnal eyesight. That's why we don't understand that God is a spirit. His word says no man, no creation has ever seen God. God is holy. It's the essence. It's in him. He's holy. And he's a spirit. So he's a holy spirit. The devil, even Lucifer, don't see him because he is a spirit. Amen. And he manifested himself in the man, the son of man, Jesus Christ. Amen. The fullness of the Godhead dwelt in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So that makes him the Holy Spirit is the father of Jesus. Here is one God. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Hallelujah. So don't get all puzzled. Trust in God. Believe in God, obey his commandment, be faithful to him, pray to him, put him first in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray for our dismissal. With these words, I encourage you, keep on. Believing the mighty God, Jesus. Keep, make him number one in your life. Always worship him. Always praise him. This God, his name is Jesus. My Lord, my God, I give you the glory, the honor, this Morning, Lord Jesus. Jesus, help us not to be prideful. Help us not to be unfaithful. Help us, Lord God, that we always obey your commandments, Lord God. Help us, Jesus, open our understanding. Help us to develop a relationship with you. Help us to understand how my spirit and you as the Holy Ghost came together and became one. A new creation. Jesus, help us, Lord God, and to be thankful for all of your blessing, your divine favor, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to understand that you are in us as the Holy Ghost. Jesus, open our understanding and help our unbelief. Jesus, in your name we ask, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus.